Okay, in this example, we just want to make a, a connection between interval notation and compound inequalities. And the question is, when we write in parentheses negative 2 comma to 8 with a bracket, does that mean the same as all the values of x that are greater than negative 2 but less than or equal to 8? And, you know, sometimes what I do is I like to make a little number line. So here is no negative 2. Um, and since it's a parentheses, remember that means we don't include it, so I'm going to put a parentheses, or sometimes people will put an open circle. And then it says, basically, to, I, I think it, it says, use every number, every number, every number, up to and including 8. That's what the little brackets mean, include it. And I always thought about the brackets as being like little hooks, so they catch that number and bring it along with us. Uh, the parentheses are kind of rounded, so the number gets away. So yes, to me this interval notation from negative 2 with parentheses uh, up to 8 with a bracket, that does mean use every value of x that's strictly greater than negative 2. So x has to be greater than negative 2 and x also has to be less than or equal to 8. So I would say yes, that's definitely a true statement.